how to solve the projections of solids using AutoCAD software. First, we'll go to AutoCAD screen, switch off the grid mode and switch on the ortho mode and type the command limits. Give specify lower left corner, which is default is 0, 0. Upper right corner, 297, 210. Then say zoom on. First, we'll go for a line command. Select some arbitrary point on the screen on the left lower left corner. Click on the first button of the mouse and drag the mouse towards the right side. Take some distance and click on first button of the mouse and take the cursor to the top side. Again, take some distance and click on first button of the mouse. Then go to offset. Take the distance as 297. Select this vertical line and offset to the left side. And again, you take the distance as 210 and select this horizontal line and offset to the top side. Then go to zoom extent and zoom 0.6x then go to fillet select between this vertical line and this horizontal line again this vertical line and this horizontal line and take horizontal line and this vertical line then go to zoom window select near to the screen and go to d text type the prop uh, specify height as 4 rotation angle as 0 type the problem number 162 so here a square prism 35 mm sides of base and 65 mm axis length this is on HP on one of its edges of the base which is which is inclined to VP at 30 degrees draw the projections of the prism when the axis is inclined to HP 45 degrees. So this is the problem. Then go to zoom previous, then go to zoom window, then go to layer, take the command layer, click on new, take the layer name by XY, then click on new, click on axis, new layer as axis, then go to new type visible and also new and take invisible and then say layer 0 set the line weight of layer 0 is 0 0.05 and say ok set the layer line weight of xy as uh, point, uh, 0.13 and say ok set the axis layer line weight as 0 0.05 and say ok set the visible layer line weight as 0.5 and say OK, set the invisible layer line weight as 0.3 and say OK, set the invisible layer line type as uh, hidden, just go to load and type H and say OK, click on hidden and say OK, set the invisible layer axis line type as uh, continuous which has to be loaded with center type C and say OK, click on center and say OK. And finally, you close this. Now we go for a polygon command. Take the number of uh, sides as 4, enter, take the edge option, and here you type, take the distance as 35, second point of edge as 35, then go to line, take INT of this, and take intersection point of this, and here you take INT of this, and take intersection point of this. Then select this and square, go to CH, go to layer, make that layer as visible and you just switch on the line weight display. Then exit, then go to move command, select this, move it appropriately and place it wherever you want. Then go to ortho mode on, go to line, draw a horizontal line and take offset, take the distance as 65 mm which is the axis length and you take line int of this and take perpendicular to this and then go to line int of this and then perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two and fillet between these two then go to trim select this line and this line as the cutting edges and then trim object to trim as these two then go to break select this line take the define the first point as int of this and say at the rate Break first point int of this and say at the rate then go to line take intersection point of this and draw a 
vertical line and then break this line and you select this line you make this line as change this x change this line as axis and take the distance as 10 and then you select this line and this line and similarly you take this line and this line you take this and make the player as visible layer one should do that so this is the initial position and then go to group select this the entire front view and then make it as a group then go to copy select this you copy this to the next position and then go to rotate select this and take intersection point of this and take the rotation angle as what 45 degree then rotate so you select this take intersection point of this and make this angle as minus 45 because rotation in the clockwise direction is negative so then go to line then go to move select this move it nearer to here then go to line take i and t of this and draw a horizontal line and similarly i and t of this from here you draw one more horizontal line and then go to line take i and t of this now we go for line i and t of this intersection of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to i line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then similarly line i and t of this draw perpendicular to this then go to line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to trim select this as the cutting edge and the object to trim as this line and this line then go to fillet between these two then go to break select this line break it here and say at the rate similarly break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point i and t of this and say at the rate and break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break select this line take first point i and t of this and say at the rate <coughs> now we need to go for a line command draw a line from intersection now we will go to draw the x y line here similarly i and t of this and draw the x y line so all the exterior just the boundaries of the solids are visible you select this line and this line this line and this line and the surface near to the observer is visible so this line is visible so you make that layer as visible layer and then you just select this line the edge or a corner which is on xy line in the front view is always invisible in the top view so apply that condition to make that is changes to this invisible layer and take the line type as 10 or you take it as 20 then here again you just escape then you select this line and go to layer make this layer as axis layer and take the line type as 10 then you make this as a group select this as a group select this you make it as a group on the entire thing and then say okay then go to copy select this line select this entire thing and copy it here then go to rotate rotate this then take intersection part of this and the rotation angle is 30 degrees so since it is 30 degrees to vp so you have to rotate in clockwise di anti clockwise direction so it will become 30 degrees to the xy line then go to move select this and switch off uh, switch off the ortho mode then come down to this now you switch on the ortho mode view. then go to line int of this so draw a horizontal line so this line will be from here to here so you take perpendicular to this then take line int of this and draw perpendicular to this draw perpendicular to this line int of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then similarly line int of this draw horizontal line take endpoint of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fill in between these two again go to line <coughs> int of this and draw a horizontal line and take int of this 
and draw perpendicular to this similarly line i and t of this and take perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two then go to line i and t of this and take i and t of this and similarly line i and t of this and take i and t of this then go to extend this line till here then go to line i and t of this and draw a horizontal line from here take i and t of this and perpendicular to this then go to line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet between these two similarly line take end point of this and draw a vertical line take line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to fillet then go to fillet between these two similarly go to line take i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this then go to line i and t of this and draw perpendicular to this and then say i and t of this similarly line i and t of this and take i and t of this then go to line i and t of this to intersection point of this then go to line i and t of this and take intersection point of this then go to line i and t of this and to intersection point of this then go to line i and t of this and i and t of this then go to break from here to here then go to break select this first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point i and t of this and say at the rate then break first point at the end of this and say at the rate. So all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible. Then first before that you just go to line and take intersection point of these two. Here first you take this line, make this layer as axis layer and change it to 15. So you're going to get the axis line. Then go to all the exterior edges of the boundaries of the solids are visible. You make this layer as you make this all these lines as visible and you make this line and this line as visible you make this and make this layer as visible layer then then just go to break select this line and take first point int of this and say at the rate and you make this line as also as visible line then just go to layer make this as visible once you do that then this line is crossing this visible edge and this line is crossing this visible edge and this since two edges from a point is invisible so naturally automatically this also becomes invisible then go to layer make this as invisible layer and make the distance as 15 so this is how you will be able to change all the line types and the line thicknesses line waves then select this and make this layer as xy one should do that now we'll go for ddim go to modify <coughs> clip on primary units make it as zero then go to text make this as four align with the dimension line center is above and take the distance as three then symbols and arrows take this as four and then go to lines offset from the origin as three and say okay and say close then go to dim horizontal select this line and you make this line and you go to text here you type square of 35 and you select this and keep it here then go to dim vertical select this line and you make this as 65 mm then go to dim angular select between this line and this line you make this distances as 45 degrees to hp and this line and this line you make this line as 30 degrees to vp then go to the text so here you switch on this make caps lock on make it xy and type vp and here hp now here you put up this caps lock a b c and d and here in the top you make it as o then in the bottom you make it as p and here you make it as q in bracket here or in bracket and here yes and bracket and here oven in bracket once you do that then go to here a dash and here in bracket you type o dash 
then you take p dash and here it is c dash in bracket and then d dash in bracket so when you look from the front view you can see p dash you can see q dash but you can't see o1 dash so it is in bracket then you type r dash here which is in bracket when you look from the front view then this will be in s dash then go to zoom window then uh, you select move switch off the ortho mode you move this x you take vp you take hp you take y here then go to dim vertical sorry dd uh, D, dim ted select this line select object to select dimension and you move it then go to move so you take a dash and you keep it here then d dash you keep it here then o dash you keep it here then b dash you keep it here then c dash you keep it here then similarly q dash and here it is r dash and here it is o1 dash and here it is p dash here it is s dash then here you make mark this as o and you mark this as o1 then you take this as a you take this as p you take this as b you take this as q you take this as c you take this as r then you move this as d and you move this here s yes. now we need to copy copy this q dash here then r dash here then o1 dash here dash here then s dash here then go to a dash here then go to o dash here then b dash here then c dash here then d dash here now you copy a you copy b you copy c you copy d you copy o you copy o1 then you copy p d text now you copy sorry now you go for d text here you type small p and here you type small q and here you type bracket r and here small s then go to move select this you move it here similarly q you move it here then r then s once you do that then go to zoom previous then go to zoom window you select this then go to copy so you copy this o here you copy o1 here then you copy p here you copy s here you copy q here p or here then you copy a here you copy b here you copy c here you copy d here then here you take a d text then which is uh, uh, which is a dash you take this as a dash you take this as b dash this as c dash in bracket then d dash in bracket d dash and then here o dash in bracket then here you have a p dash here you have q dash here you have r dash 
and here you have s dash and here you have o1 dash and then go to move so select a dash and move it here similarly d dash similarly o dash take b dash and then here you take c dash then you take p dash here then q dash here then r dash here and then s dash then s dash here since o1 a dash b dash c dash since p dash q dash r dash s dash is visible therefore o1 dash is on that surface therefore o1 dash is visible and since uh, a dash p dash since b dash c dash and c dash d dash are invisible so naturally o, o dash will also be invisible that means in some portion of the surface is invisible since o dash is on that surface therefore automatically o dash becomes invisible so this is how you will be able to create the drawing in AutoCAD. Then go to say, click on the appropriate drive, go to AutoCAD, then go to solid drawings and take type P caps key 162 and save it.